worse than being in a desert. There's nowhere to sit, there's no shade. The humidity is much higher because you're on the equator. <laughs> in pictures, it looks cool and calm and tranquil. Most of the time, if the guys aren't wearing tights, like these, you get a rash between your legs from all the chafing. <laughs> and you're out there. It's painting. And it's wonderful. It's like being in heaven. There is no logic behind it. Bonefish? They're stupid. As long as it's on the bottom, as long as it's kicking up a bit of sand, you see them, they come feeding it. And when there's a pot of them, or when there's two or three or more of them together, they they spectacularly stupid. So they see the fly and, 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 and you wait until the fly is like in the cone of vision, you know, if he's looking down you've got to wait for him to be fairly close, but if he's, if he's looking up and he's cruising like this you can move the fly when it's like six or seven feet away. And he scuttles over, he's like... And he stops on the fly and, and, and he gets the smile on his face. You can see how excited he is. Especially if you're fishing like little crab patterns. He's like, hey Oaks, come check what I found. And, he, and he's turning around the fly, turning around the fly. And you move the fly, he's turning around, turning around. And you can give it a long strip again. And it's going to swim further after the fly. No, they're really dumb. But if you just give it like a gentle short pull, he, it's almost as if he stands back and he's like, here's the fly. And he's like, Shh. he lifts himself. He's like, I can't believe what's just happening. He comes up and he, he, you know, he just comes down and he sucks it into his mouth and he eats the fly. And you set the hook and he's, he's going to be like in a, in a daze for a couple of seconds. He's going to be like, what's going on here? And then when he realized that he's been hooked, he just makes a beeline for it to get out of it. You, you know, he's going to take 60 hours of string off. And you pull him back in, and as you want to land him, he turns around and does it again. So they're awesome fish. They, they're such honest fish. You get the fly where he's going to see it, he's going to come, he's going to eat it, he's going to give you a good clean fight and he's going to swim away and chances are you're going to catch him again.